I'm Jackie, and this is safe to say here at day one of Vans Warped Tour. How are you guys doing so far? Hi, how are you? You, you were you were kind of enjoying and stealing the little bit of air conditioning. So you, you've already learned lesson number one: be a thief. Yeah, we've been told by a uh, by a lot of bands that it's going to be really really hot. But you, yeah, <laughs> see a black and long sleeve. That's great for Texas summer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I thought I'd see if they were lying or not. So. <laughs> Yeah, so they just decided to be wimps and hang out in the air conditioning. It's okay. I don't blame them. I do too. Uh, tell me about your new EP, Hiding Games. It's available July 31st, correct? So that was actually released last year, July 31st. Oh, okay. So right now we have a, a new LP coming out. Um, we just uh, released another single, uh, the second one, off it yesterday and actually announced it. So the new LP is called Down in the Dark, um, and I believe the release date is the 22nd of July. Of July. All right. So tell me a bit about the songwriting process for that album. So it was completely different than anything we've ever done. Um, with the last record, we actually recorded uh, it all ourselves, um, and we did. We took the similar, or we took a similar approach to this one as well. We kind of wanted to do everything ourselves, so everything from the album art uh, to writing the songs to recording the songs. Uh, so specifically with songwriting, we were kind of—I uh, don't want to say rushed because that makes it sound like uh, we were we <laughs> sacrificed quality kind of thing. Um, but we kind of sat in a room as a band and just banged out songs. Um, now that makes it sound really simple and like it happened in a short period of time, but simple. it was kind of over the course of three months. We were supposed to track for two weeks and I ended up having to stay up at Corey's studio for three months, like having to text home all the time, like not coming home yet, the record's not done, <laughs> like texting everyone. So it definitely took away longer than we thought. But So who or what influenced the song lyrics that you guys came up with this time around? Uh, this is always a kind of weird thing to, to write about. Um, the last EP was kind of very, very personal, so I kind of wanted to do something a little broader that's a little easier for everyone to take and choose from. Uh, I think growing up, you know, we're like, I'm like 24 now, Corey's 22. Uh, things sort of happen in your early 20s that I find it's kind of thrown at you and like, oh my God, like I'm an adult, but I feel like a kid. Crap. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so, like I said, like with the lyrics, everyone can take it with a grain of salt. Um, but for me, it's kind of just an album about growing up and learning how to deal with things as time goes on. What song do you think best encapsulates the entire album or best represents the sound? That's a good question. Here, uh, to me, and this is not as Brad uh, is the lyricist of the band, uh, but the last song that isn't released, it's kind of unnamed, um, but for anyone that's watching that's uh, going to listen to the album when it does come out, I think the last song is kind of a good tie-up that kind of brings everything together. Um, and if you were to choose one song, um, just strictly looking at lyrics, I think that one kind of encompasses the entire kind of feeling and mood. Yeah, I'd probably say the same thing too. I kind of made sure to make everything come full circle. So the last song will kind of touch on every little thing in the album. How do you guys go about choosing your set list for Warped? Uh, we're given 25 minutes, so <laughs> on top of on top of whatever fits, uh, whatever what everyone enjoys. I know we're kind of like an odd man out genre-wise. Um, so we kind of wanted to pick stuff that's very us as well as you know something that everyone's going to enjoy a little bit of. Speaking of everyone out there and fans and getting new fans, how do you use social media to connect with fans and what's your favorite platform to use? That's a good question. Um, for us, I would say with actually connecting with fans, I'd say Twitter. Uh, we're very, very active. If, if you tweet at us, we'll see it. We'll probably <laughs> reply to it. Um, sometimes we look like goose on the internet. We like to, um, yeah, just kind of talk amongst other bands. Um, but yeah, we're, we're very active on Twitter, Instagram. Um, yeah. Any other platforms you prefer? Uh, I'd say Instagram, but Twitter it seems to be the one. Like we've met a ton of friends and like been put up in people's houses and like met a ton of people just through a little DM or at message. Like, hey, what's up? So if anyone wants to, you know, say what's up, we're always down to respond and meet new people. So come kidnap safe to say they're here on Warp Tour. This is Jackie. Thanks to In the Key of Change and Chorus.fm.